In news, my wonderful people, <laughs> Ashiwa Ju Ahmed Bola Tinubu tells Osibanjo Aregbe Shola, declare your support openly. Let us know who you are supporting. Declare your support openly for Tinubu. Osibanjo Aregbe Shola has been challenged by their party. Well, if you look at it since APC declared that Tinubu won the presidential uh, election, I mean, to be a flag bearer of the party. You've not heard from Onyemi Osibanjo. He has been totally out of the whole thing. Aregbe Shola as well, former governor of uh, Oshun State, he's been totally out. But right now, they are saying to them, tell us where you stand, because it just feels like our very own brother, Osibanjo just wants to finish his administration and go quietly to his law practice and continue with what he needs to do. Aregba Shola has told Tinubu before that he was not going to, you know, stay with him. And um, he showed him during his brother, okay, his brother, the governor of uh, Oshun State, Oyetola. You know, so these are things that are happening, saying it is it is not like a payback time, but it is what it is. I, I don't I don't share in your vision. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Declare your support open for Tinubu. Declare your open support for Tinubu or Sibanjo. Aregbe Shola told, my dear, it's happening. A pro-Yoruba agenda and loyalist of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, Chief Remilekon Osman, has challenged both the Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo and Minister of Interior Aregbe Shola Rafiu to openly declare their support for Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu presidential ambition, saying their silence is not the best at this moment with all that is happening. Usman, who further challenged the jail to make stand, make their stand known to the public as Benefactors of products of Tinubu's political dynasty, however, pledged to support Tinubu's campaign with a hundred million naira donation. In a statement personally signed and made available to newsmen in Ibadan, his man urged the jail to take a stand, to take a cue from the former governor of Abia State, Senator Uzo Kalu who did not only identify with Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu, but also campaigned rigorously for the Yoruba man to be president, despite the fact that an Igbo man wants to be president. If those who you are not, who are not from Yoruba land, including Northerners, are not hiding their support for Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu, one wonders why your, our own brother, his very own brothers, whose political journey cannot be complete, whose story of life cannot be told without Tinubu being mentioned, Tinubu's influence, getting them to where they are, to mobilize them to work for him. They, we worked for them secretly and openly for them to get to where they are. This is his turn and none of them is showing up. There may be difference they should resolve and bury and forget about it and think about the greater good, what this man did for them. Yorobas and give Tinubu your best of support he deserves. At this time, there is so much pressure. The presidential race is tough. But for these men to be silent at this point in time, it is not golden. I also want to say that Osibanjo, Aregbe Shola, and others who are in the same category of aggrieved party members should direct their support to do so and join the vigorous campaign cam campaign group for Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He expressed optimism that Tinubu will win 2023 election, saying, don't let us go to war with, with and divide ourselves and our team. Let's work together. Reconciliation and support for the team ahead of 2023 because it is us for us to win. It is the turn of the Yorubas, he declares. He says it is turn for the Yorubas and them. Um, Tinubu must be supported. He says the people who are supposed to be supporting the people who are supposed to be supporting Tinubu have other interests. They are doing other things, and um, he's surprised. He said because the story of those people's life cannot be told without Tinubu's contribution. What he did for them, but well, sadly, according to him, these same men have totally abandoned Tinubu and you know serving other interests right now.
So he's calling, he's giving a challenge to Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu, as well as uh, Rafi Aregbe Shola, that he should come out and openly declare for Tinubu. You know, if, you, if one has not really paid attention, you will see that these men, particularly the two he mentioned, have not really shown any iota of uh, support for Tinubu. They've not been, I mean, it's just like, you know what, do whatever you want to do. They can't be bothered, especially the vice president who put himself out for service for Nigerians. And we all know what happened with the APC primaries. We had dollars, we were flying around left, right, and center. And by the way, some of them said some of the dollars were fake. We don't know how true. Alleged they said some of the dollars that they got were fake. You know, so these are some of the things going on. And so this man is saying that they should support. And the reason why he's saying they should support is not because he feels that Tinubu is competent, right? That's not what he's driving at. The reason is because he said Tinubu is a Yoruba man. That how says Ibo's, you know, um, Uzokalo, he has declared support for Tinubu and has told everybody and anybody, including those from the Southeast, that Tinubu is his man and that all hands must be on deck to support Tinubu. But the vice president has been very indifferent with all that has been going on. The vice president has not really stood with everything that has been going on. He has been totally out of the whole picture. He can't be bothered. You know, his, his dominion, particularly with all that is happening, is like, whatever happens, let it happen. You know, so they said he should come and declare his support to uh, He should show where he's standing because uh, the day and the time that we are in, according to, you know, Mr. Husman, he said Tinubu needs all the support he can get. So if they, if they are not standing for him, it shows that they are in great, they are ungrateful set of people, according to what he's saying. He said because the story of their life or whatever they get to politically was as a result of Tinubu's benevolence, his dynasty, political affluence that he built was what also characterized what, you know, what got to them and why they got to the places they got to in terms of politically. And it is now their turn, okay, to show, to give, you know, uh, to, to reciprocate and to give the kind gesture to Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who was so gracious enough to support them in those trying times. So whether you like it or not, there is really call for concern and everybody needs to be on board to ensure that at the end of the day, we have the right people, okay, doing the right things for every one of us. None of us should sit back there and just pretend that all is well, okay? If we don't stand up for what is what, if we don't do the right thing and we allow the same people over and over again to circumvent our will, we will regret it, I can assure you for free, because the road will still remain undone. The schools will still remain closed. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.